guys i promised you a video today of where you can find trophy rainbow trout so mind you this is probably going to be patched or hot fixed this from what i hear the devs are a little upset that people are showing people how to catch fish i guess or maybe that was just the way of some of the higher level people basically telling me that i shouldn't tell you guys how to catch stuff but i know how frustrating it can be when you're trying to catch fish my channel is all about helping people so i hope it doesn't upset anybody um but I'm just kind of going to give you the basics of how to land some bigger rainbow trout. And uh, hopefully it doesn't make anybody mad. So here we go. So the spot you're going to go to is Fantastic in Colorado. Um, make sure you have the appropriate license, obviously. And the bait you're going to use is in the top right, which is a lure. It is a spinner. It's an 8-ounce uh, one-aught hook. And uh, one of the guides that actually is on the Steam um, forum shows one, two, three, four trees over, and you cast between the fourth and the fifth tree. That's pretty much true. It's pretty accurate. Um, I would say you're going to set your drag to about two or three, depending on how um, the type of tackle you're using, the rod and the reel, which doesn't affect if you can catch the or hook the fish. It's rather... Um, what what's more important is the um, if you want to horse it in or not. That's really what's important. So most of the bites you're going to get from this spot happen anywhere between 10 a.m. and 2 p.m. It's not that time right now, as you can tell. It's 5 in the morning. I haven't changed the time. Really, I wanted to demonstrate the technique, and that is lift and drop that I'm using, which is reeling pretty slowly with a three drag, and then right-clicking all the way up to the top of your, your stroke, so to speak, with your bait. Um, that's one of the more effective presentations you can use to land the trout. I don't expect to get any because it's real early in the morning. But that's really how you want to present the bait. Lift and drop, and then we'll do the stop and go for you. And uh, I'll be doing separate videos on how to do those techniques. But this is typically what you're going to do with uh, your presentation. Now, as you get into, you know, 50 feet, you're going to have to vary your presentation a little bit. And I would recommend that you change it up sometimes about halfway through because you're not going to be able to carry a lift and drop very easily until you have a lot of practice. Wheeling, you're reeling it all the way in and getting a three, presenta three white dot presentation the whole way through. So we'll just go ahead for S's and G's, skip our time to 10 a.m., which is typically when they start to bite. And that's because uh, currently you can't check, uh, you can't trust this uh, chart currently. Uh, I, I expect it to be patched, but currently it doesn't function. So, um, moving on, we're gonna cast in the same spot we just did. Um, you don't really need to cast any more than 80 or 90 feet. Um, and uh, this time we'll do the stop and go retrieve. So, start that. We'll see if we can hook one up just so I can show you guys. But most of the trout you're going to get here are going to be regular size. There will be some trophies that you can land that are anywhere between 3.7 to 4.2 pounds. And there's a hookup right there. And this is a little bit bigger of a fish, well, at least it would seem. Sometimes trout can be deceiving. Um, sometimes their uh, size can be deceiving. I've had some that are... 2.6 pounds that fight like their trophies. So, see, that's one that did the same thing. So, 2.5 pounds and it fought like it was a trophy fish. So, keep in mind that your line weight, your reel um, type, and your rod type don't really affect what you're able to catch, but more how you're able to horse it in and how you're going to fight the fish and how far you can cast, things like that. So, that is how you catch trout. And you'll typically catch a trophy rainbow between... I would say 1 in 10 or 1 in 20 casts. Uh, the unique trout have been nerfed heavily from here. Um, but this is one of the more effective spots. I've actually found another spot you can see in my other video that works at uh, the alternate spot in Colorado. So we'll try lift and drop now just to uh, finish off the video and see if we can get another one. Most of my bites I've gotten anywhere between 85 and 55 feet out. Primarily they're further out. Alter retrieve a little bit. The easier the retrieve that you guys are going to do for sure, 
is going to be the um, uh, stop and go retrieve, though, for sure. Gonna horse that one in quickly, but that just should show you how fast you can catch trout. Um, get the biggest fish basket that you can, and keep in mind, remember, towards the end, uh, to, you know, getting about, you know, six or seven fish, check your basket, make sure you release the smaller ones in case you land the trophy. So, that's where you're going to catch them, guys. Sorry we didn't catch any trophies. I didn't want the video to go on like 30 minutes, though. But you'll get one every 1 in 10 or 1 in 20 casts. Um, and if you want the proof, uh, I'll show you my menu of... Really, the biggest one I've been able to catch has been 3.9. So, um, and that's the bait I caught it on. So, that's it, guys. Thank you for watching. Hopefully, that helped you, and hopefully, it doesn't upset anybody to trying to help people out. So, um, that's it, guys. See ya.